So why do we need exponents? This is something that a lot of students will ask me when I start to introduce exponents. Well, why is this important? That's what I'll talk about in this video. So exponents actually have a lot of applications. Um, but one place where I see them and I use them a lot is in finding combinations or how many combinations are there. So for example, you may have seen something, hopefully my artwork is okay here, but you may have seen something that looks like this. So this is a combination lock, right? And each one of these little spinny things can be set to a combination of any one of 10 numbers. So you can spin this and this could be, you know, any number one through 10 or actually zero, one through nine, but 10 different numbers that this could be. This is 10 different combinations. So all together, we could find how many combinations using an exponent. Each spinner has 10 different possibilities. And there are three different spinners, one, two, three. So there are 10 times 10 times 10 different combinations of what that could be. Um, or in other words, 10 to the power of three, which is 1,000. So there are, for a combination lock like this one, there are a thousand different combinations of what this could be. Um, say we had the same thing, but say it used numbers, and, or sorry, say it used letters instead of numbers. So instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, this is A, B, C, D, E, F, etc. Okay, so J, K, okay, but these are all letters now instead of numbers. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the point is now instead of 10 different possibilities for each one, there are 26, one for each letter. So the number of combinations now, 26 to the power of three, which equals probably a really big number, 26 um, to the power of three equals 1,000, or sorry, 17,576. Okay, so any combination of three different letters has 17,576 different possibilities. If there were four spinners instead of three, we'd have 26 to the power of four, etc. Um, so that is, and just to show you, if I were to enter that in, 26 to the power of four, Just by adding one more combination, we jumped up from about 17,000 to now we're at 456,976. Okay, so as this exponent gets higher and higher, this number is gonna grow exponentially. So you may have heard that term before, growing exponentially, that's what that means. Um, because whenever an exponent you know, in this example, you see it jumped from three to four and it went way up. If this went to 26 to the power of five, um, this number would go up to, so now we have 11,881,376. So that's just one example of an application of an exponent. There are thousands more in finance and science, um, engineering, and we'll talk about those in other videos, but I just wanted to kind of show you like a quick example of how an exponent is used in real life. Make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if there's any other math topics you would like to see me cover. Subscribe to this channel for more videos.